Hi, Carol here, and welcome to my craft room. And I have a wicked cold, really bad cold. So if my voice comes in and out, I apologize ahead of time. Now, <coughs> the old cough thing again, am I ever going to get rid of that? So what I decided to do is to take out my jelly plate and do something today. Just, you know, giving in to this cold and doing nothing is not good. So I got ready and came in my craft room, and boy, my craft room has things all over from these orders that I have to get put away. So what I did was I took my jelly plate. Now I had to make a decision on what size. You get a 5x7, 6x6, and a 12x12. And the 6x6 worked out really well for me because you can cut, you know, the 5x7 you end up with the length more so, and I really like the 6x6 idea and this is what it looks like when you get it in the packaging and then when you take it out what's really awesome is it has protectant on it so you have two of these wonderful um, thick acrylic sheets so you want to save that those and put them inside the case and then I grabbed a new um, set of my I'm looking all over because I have stuff literally going every which way. So I took out my Sizzix, uh, one of my cutting pad sets that uh, I was saving because if you have the magnetic platform, every time these go on sale you should grab it because you can't use a warped uh, plate on the bottom. And you know sometimes what we do, we end up using the bottom plate for unnecessary things and it gets warped and you always end up with two warped plates. <laughs> I do. So anyway, I grabbed one of these and um, that is going to be my acrylic plate. Now, I've been watching a wonderful site. It's called Clarity Stamps with Barbara Gray. She is amazing. Um, you just go on YouTube and press in Clarity Stamps or Clarity Stamps. I think it's Clarity Stamps. And, and uh, she comes up and she's from the UK and amazing artist and she's really good with the jelly plate. And s most of my ideas that I got to do I got from her so I want to give her full credit and um, I thought I'd try a few techniques of my own right you want to instill your own work into your you know you don't want to take somebody else's and copy it totally you want to you know maybe wrinkle the paper do something so it becomes yours and so I decided to take out some Claudine Helmuth's uh, paints here and um, they're really pretty colors, so I kind of liked that. I was just checking Ranger, semi, uh, yeah, they're acrylic. Okay, then I took some Artist Loft acrylic paints, a bunch of them here, and then I took some Martha Stewart Apple ba Barrel, and I'm going to do distract distress inks as well. So I'm going to combine it all and a few techniques I saw her do, and I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love the jelly plate. It, you can just develop, you can use your stencils for number one, you know, I don't use an, I have a billion of them here and I don't, I just keep buying them. And you, this is the perfect thing to have is to use them. And I have them ready on my left here and then I, the technique I'm going to use on this 6x6, six six, see how this acrylic plate works out, you can grab the sides. A lot of people use paper underneath, they put their jelly plate on the paper so that it's six or six and a half by six and a half or seven by seven so that when they put their paper on they can see the size of you'll see what I mean when I start going you want to be able to put your paper on top of here and this works and this works out well because the jelly plate release releases some oils and some um, you'll see it on the paper if you put this on paper you'll see that and if you put it on acrylic, the oils and everything that need to maintain in your jelly plate will stay in your jelly plate. It will not release onto acrylic. So I learned that. So I grabbed one of these, perfect size. And you know what you do when you're using stamps and you want to get it on your paper? You just turn it around and you use it as a stamp press. What have I got on here? Um, looks like uh, my little cinnamon. One of her little golden hairs here. Must have been petting her and then came up and touched this. So then you want to remove, you know, you want to use a grid. 
and this is perfect too you just line this grid when I put it on I put it on according to a line right here so that I could line it up and move it and that way if I'm stamping I have the grid underneath so that's another positive for this acrylic plate and then you want to cut your paper just a tad bit and and have a bunch of them aside like this and I cut mine to seven by seven this way when I take a sheet now I used three types I used my more inexpensive white um, I think this is 80 pounds and then I used uh, a more firm uh, one that's a hundred pound weight and then I had I was going to use my 120 pound weight but I didn't want to waste it because I'm practicing this is my first time with my jelly plate so I don't want to mess it on this I grabbed one of my uh, I think this is 100, 110 pound. Okay, I, I will try that. And then I thought the distressed watercolor cardstock. I'm going to get into some watercoloring on here. So these these sheets are four and a quarter by five and a half. Perfect placing inside. So um, that's what I have waiting here. So I'll save my good piece, which is six and a half by six and a half. I made it smaller so I knew which piece it was. And then I have a whole bunch of ones here that I'm going to lift off that are seven by seven. You're going to want to have some type of a pencil to mark the top. I'll use this Sharpie right there. And let's get at her. So, I'm going to try first off, I'm going to use some acrylic paint. So, I thought Claudine Helmuth's is a nice, uh, smooth paint. And then I tore off, I want the sentiment to be across this angle here, which is a one inch by one inch square. And so I tore a whole bunch of pieces trying to get uh, a little layered look. I didn't like that one. Which piece did I end up liking? I think it was this one. To put my greeting in. Yes. This one. So I am going to try to keep out. I don't want it in the center. I want it up towards the top. So I'm going to keep out an inch on the top. And then I'll use um, four inches on the uh this, this ends up two inches because I'm looking at my grates and then you have three inches on the bottom of the squares which you can see if you have a um, grid mat. So I kind of like this and if you don't like it you can take it and if you want to bring it down just tear it off a tad. I might take that bump off there and have it like that. And this way I have a little handle on the end. Can you see that where I can tear it off? All right, so I can put that one right there, and um, happy day. Let's get going. I have a recollection sprayer, and it doesn't matter what kind of brayer you have. I kind of would like a brayer without this great big thing on the top. I may have to pick up another one because I'd like to see what's going on on the bottom there. But for now, you want to have a piece of paper to use. Um, I took out, um, not letterhead, but legal size paper just so I could clean off my brayer on the side here. And I'll set these aside. And then one of my paints kind of blurbed out over there and I had to, I didn't want to waste it. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to start with this purple. And beings I'm going to brayer, let's see which is the easiest way. Um, yeah, I'll do it this way. So I'll use these two grids here. So I'll put the purple here, like this, and then here, like this. Now, there, if you go to her videos and you watch, she has this uh, um, this thing, this mat and it's like the one we use the glue mat where we make our flowers uh, and so that the glue does not um, one thing it doesn't stick to it and uh, it's that rubber mat I have it over here but I have too much stuff on it and I have a large sheet and what she does is she just rolls out the color on that and then she adds from that to her plate it's amazing I'm telling you it's just wonderful so let's pick up some of this paint right here and what do I have? I'm wondering, maybe it's because it's new. Maybe you have to work it in. It looks, it actually looks like I'm getting bubbles and stuff, but I'm going to keep going here. And I'm going to leave a space on this one to just, um, 
and then I'm going to take some paint to uh, I think it's because you have to maybe I have to clean it off but I'm not going to worry about those dots because I think it looks awesome I don't know if there's something in my jelly roll in my um, brayer so I'm going to take some baby whites I haven't used my brayer forever so that could be I'm just going to clean it off with the baby wipe. You know, you get dust particles from sitting in your room. When I dust, I don't go over and say, Oh, I must dust my brayer. <laughs> I'm, you know, thankful when I get to where I do dust in my craft room. Okay, let's try that now. All right, so, whoop, wrong side. So, does that help? Mm -hmm. Not really, but anyway, I'm leaving it because I don't know what the problem is and I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to take some of this color off on my sheet and there we go. Sorry, it is noisy. And then I'm going to add, right over top of it, I'm going to add some pink. And maybe this will help. I don't know. Um, I need a paintbrush, so I have to... Look at that, there will have to be one right there. So I'm going to add a bit here. This is a really pretty color. And add a bit there. Oh, I might need a little bit there. Okay, should have brought my water over here as well. Not that prepared. I was too excited to get started on it to worry about. Um, so I'm going to go right over top with this color. And I'm getting used to it, so. Oh yeah, it's starting to work its way. And I think maybe the jelly plate has a little bit of oils on it. And, um, and notice I have nothing in here on this side, in the middle. Okay, so I have that color on there. And what color was this? Paintery pink, painterly pink. Um, do I want to add anything else over top of there? No, but I am going to go with a, um, for the next color, color, I'm going to go with a cobalt blue. But first I am going to do some stenciling. So I chose the Tim Holtz stencils and I, well this one isn't. What is this one? This is, get it at Michael's. Who makes this? PlaidOnline.com Folk Art. Folk Art. So I'm going to set this one down. And what's nice about most, except for Tim Holtz, they're 6x6. Six six. So we're going to just set that on there like that. And I don't know, I might do some yellow because this is going to be the backdrop for a balloon birthday card that I'm going to do. So now I will color in everything on here. Where's my paintbrush? Oh, I don't want to risk. I just broke my paintbrush. Let me move over here. Because of my Copics having to be here, my paintbrushes are behind it. This is good. That didn't take a lot of time. So I will add some in there. I might pull some into that. Because I can't remember whether she... Um, what she did there. So I will just do that. We will see. This is a background, remember. I'm using this as background paper. And just the fun of practicing with it is truly amazing. So I'm going to put that down. You have to get used to the... That's awesome. Isn't that neat? So I left... I didn't want to put a ton of um, colors over top of that. Yeah, that's all it was. You have to get used to the how you're pressing on your roller. And I want to move that over. Okay, so we have that. And let's remove this. And I will clean these after. So I have that on there. Cool, cool, because some of that escaped. have some paper over here to put it down on, and I'll clean it. I'm going to put a baby wipe right over top of it. So... Damp. So it's damp. Okay, so I have that. And then I am going to add, 
Let me see what I'm, I don't want to pull off of that yet. I want to use hmm, another stencil. Which one? I think I'm going to use the wood grain. And on this wood grain, let's see, I'll pull one here like that. Then I'll move it over. So um, do I want to go with, I think I will go with the blue. I could, yeah, I'm going to pull off on the blue. I'm just going to do unexpected colors here. Oh, I haven't used this one yet. And this is acrylic. When you pop it, you know what? Just a second. I'm going to test another one out here. Let me just go over to the other side and grab a different color blue. This is a pretty blue. It's all acrylic. So I'm going to, oh, make sure I haven't used it for a while. Shake this up. Okay, now try it. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, you can tell the difference in quality. This is much, um, let me get some of this off. There we are, I'm going to grab another piece here. I just don't want to have any of that color on there. Okay. So let's go down here, and I don't think that's going to mean a hill of beans on there. So I'm doing this. We're doing it together. I think I need, I added too much paint, but I'll take some up, grab it, take it up. I'm just going to pull on it. My, that looks nice on my piece right there. There we are. Lift this up awesomeness and then I'm going to turn it over and I am going to brayer what was left on that other side on there because I'm going to use this is only for my backdrop I'm not going to worry about that that will go over top of my baby wipe over there and what else do I want to do before I lift that I am going to wait till this dries this is going to have to dry, so I'm going to use it on here. We should let it just air dry. And the other colors, I think, because they were thicker, would have dried, you know, just air dried. You don't want to put it way down on the jelly plate, but I'm going to need some air to um, lift this off because I'm going to put one more layer over top to lift it. I'll show you what I mean in a second. This is going, and the ghost print off of this, I think, will be really nice. See the, see what it's doing here? Can you see that? I should have pulled it on you. There we are. Okay. Yeah, I don't, uh, I think I'll use my Stampin' Up! one on the low, sesh, the low heating. Yeah, yeah, much better. Yeah, it's just mild, mild. See? There is a reason I need that. Very nice. Yep, no problem. Okay. You can see the places that aren't dry on the acrylic paint. That's nice. Like in real life. Here. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. Because I am going to cut it out. And, um, so now you, I want to put on my piece right here. Before I pull it. What did I do right there? Oh, this isn't my piece. That's why. Yowzers. Just a second. Get that off my hand because that's bright red. Here's my piece. I'm going to put that on right there that's where I want to lift it hopefully and have a white center we'll see now that's dry underneath right so you're going to want to be careful you want to take your brayer and make sure it's nice and clean because you're going to be putting on a light color so
You can go over it with a paper towel too. But I'm going to use these baby wipes. I get them at the dollar store for $1.50. And there's like a hundred, how many are there? It's this one here. Huggies, $1.50 for 250 wipes. It's crazy. Like, it's a good, great price, I think. I mean, I don't have any babies, and I just thought, wow. It's funny people see you buying baby wipes. Man, do you have a baby? 60 years old woman. No, oh, it's for my craft room. There we go. So you want to make sure that's nice and dry. And you haven't left any goobers on it like I just did here. I don't know what I did there. Kind of turn it. That looks good. And I'm going to use this. Isn't that funny? I want to. There we go. Dry it off. So now I am going to use. I was going to use the pearl. But I'm thinking of this uh, titanium white. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to give it a go. Let's try it. So, because this is a thicker, you can see how thick that is. And there we are. Can I get up there? This is out of that set I got for $5.99 at Michael's, that great big art kit. You get oil paints, acrylic paints, and water color paints. Can't beat that price. So let's put it on our brayer here. Go over top here, holding this down so it doesn't remove itself. And I can tell right now I'm going to have to put more of that on there. Maybe I will add some of this Martha Stewart pearl on here. Let's see what happens. Ooh, that looks good. Really good. Oh yeah. We're cooking with gas. Okay, so we have, oh, don't jump, don't jump. Maybe I have to hold that on there like that. Yeah, I'm pressing too hard with the brayer, I don't know. But like I said, it's a practice sheet. It's funny, I don't know why I'm getting this. I don't, can you see that up close? Look at this. Is that on my brayer? I mean, what is that? Wow, look at that. That looks awesome. There was blue on there. Look at that. Where you look and you think there isn't anything. Can you see that blue on there? Hmm. Okay, let's set that on there. This is where we're going to pull this up. And hopefully we're going to get a nice background that I can use on my card. My birthday card. So I'm going to take one of my seven, by, you know what, I'm going to take my good one, this really thick paper, and I am going to set it right on top like this, right like that, press it down, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab this bakery, it's a bakery wooden brayer for doing fondants and things in my cake days, and I've been using it in my craft room. So, let's roll this out. You want to pick up on everything underneath there. I'm excited to see it. This is my very first use of the jelly roll. And I think you're going to run out and get one. Like I did. Because <laughs> you can experiment with so many things. Like I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use distress inks. Wait till you see the distress inks on here. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, let's see if this lifts up now. Add some of my own pressure on there. I don't think we need, but I've never used it, so I don't know how it pulls off. There we are. Let's see. Is it going to pull off there? Um, I think I need a little bit more pressure. On the... to lift it up. There we go. Okay. That's better. 
Okay, let's see what we have on here. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh man, I love it. Look at this. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? I love this. And I will just cut this bottom off like that. I, I think it's amazing. Now watch the ghost print on this. I have to show it to you again. On my next video, I'm going to do my stamping on here. I'm going to turn it around and the balloons are going to go nuts on here. Look at these underneath there. With distress inks, this is going to be totally awesome. So I'm going to put that aside to dry and I'm going to grab another cheaper sheet of paper, the 80 pound, and see if I want to grab the ghost of this strip because I will use that on another card. So let's get this. Now I'm really getting excited to use this. Doesn't make that much of a mess. Oops. I'll pick up what I can. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it dried too fast. I didn't get that picked up. So you know what I'm going to do with that? I'm not going to panic. I'm going to put some baby blue going across here and I'm going to pick it up with that because it's darker than what I just used on here and I know the plate will pick it up. So let's do this with the last bit of time. Let's get a stencil on there. With the blue I'm going to use this stencil on the bottom like so, press it in like that, take it off like that, and bring it up here, press it in, take it off, well that one didn't come out as well, but I'm going to grab another one, let me see here, you know what I think I'm going to do? Absolutely nothing, because that's going to bring that up. I think this is going to be good. And I only have a minute left, so let's let's do it. Let's do it. Um, well, I'm tempted to add another color, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put this down. And because I want to use up, I want to use this brayer up. I'm going to go right over top. Let's see what happens here. Oops, sorry. Man alive. I'm putting too much weight on there. Okay. And let's pick. Oh, you're going to love this. And I'm going to use this. I'm going to keep moving on this now. Look at the bottom there. Isn't that. Oh, let me pull this back. I only have a little bit of time here. But look at the alligator print on there. Okay, I'm going to go with Distress Inks next. I'm going to use this section right here on a card. Love it. You have yourselves a great day. I'm going to go download this. And I am going to do my card. My next card, I'll go right into the card because this is dried. And I absolutely love it. So let's get our acrylic paints out, our jelly plate. I'm going to clean up my mess and off we go. You'll see what it's like when I'm finished. <laughs>